Hello and welcome to another episode of today's GK. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack films. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. Consider the following statements. The 73rd Constitutional Amendment of 1992 mandates both the central and state governments to help Panchayati Raj institutions and the untied grant out of the total grants in aid allocated by the centre is to be utilised for payment of salaries by the PRIs. So we have to select the correct statement. Many of you have answered it correctly. The correct answer to this question is option A. That is one only. The first statement is correct. But the second statement is incorrect because the untied grants out of total grant in aid allocated by the centre is to be utilised for other location specific needs and not for paying these salaries by the PRIs. So, the correct answer to this question option A, let's move on. Recently, the Ministry of Finance has released the amount of approximately 13,000 crore to 25 states for providing grants to the rural local bodies. The 73rd Constitutional Amendment of 1992 requires both the state and the center to help Panchayati Raj institutions to evolve as a unit of self-governance by assigning them funds, functions and functionaries. The untied grant out of the total grants in aid allocated by the centre is to be utilised at the discretion of the Panchayati Raj institutions for location-specific needs except for payments of salaries. Moving on, consider the following statements. Karbis is a major ethnic community of Assam, largely inhabiting the Karbi Anglong and Dima Hasau, formerly North Kishar Hill districts. The provisions regarding the administration and control of scheduled and tribal areas for the state of Assam are mentioned under the fifth schedule. So, we have to select the correct statement. As we know, Assam, Tripura, Meghalaya and Mizoram. These four states are in the sixth schedule and not in the fifth one. So, the second statement is incorrect. But, Karbis is a major ethnic community of Assam, largely inhabiting the Karbi, Anglong and the Dima Hasao hill districts. Okay, Remember, in the sixth schedule, we have Tripura and Mizoram and also Meghalaya and Assam. Okay, Moving on, which of the above statements we have to select the correct option A, right? Recently, a tripartite agreement among five insurgent groups of Assam and the centre and state governments was assigned. Karbis is a major ethnic community of Assam, largely inhibiting the Karbi Anglong Dima Hasao Hill districts and the provision regarding the administration and control of scheduled and tribal areas of any state except the four states are Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizora. Moving on to the next question, Haikin Worlds recently seen in the news refers to which of the following? First underwater museum in India, recently renovated monument, a new class of exoplanets and a new class of stars. The correct answer to this question is option C, that is a new class of exoplanets. A study published in the Astrophysical Journal identifies a new class of exoplanets termed Hykian worlds. The Hykian worlds have planet-wide oceans and have temperatures as high as 200 degrees Celsius. These planets have a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and these exoplanets could support microbial underwater life. Moving on, consider the following statements. He is called Kapolotia Tamilian, that is the Tamil Hensman. He was a prolific writer in Tamil and his works include Mayaram Mayarivu, commentary on Thirukural, compiled works of Tolka PM. He took up the workers' cause after the Tuti Koran coral mills strike in 1908. The above statements most appropriately describe which of the following freedom fighters? Subramanya Bharti, V. O. Chidambaram Pillai, C. Rajagopalachari, or D. Subramanya Siva. The correct answer to this question is option B, that is V. O. Chidambaram Pillai. The Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi has remembered freedom fighter V. O. Chidambaram Pillai on his Jayanti, that is on 5th of September. He is called Kapolodhya Tamilian. He was a prolific writer in Tamil 
and his works include Mayaram, Mayarivu, Commentary on Thirukural, Compiled Works of Tolka PM. Also, he took up the workers' cause after the Tutti Koran Koran Mill Strike in 1908. Moving on to the next question, consider the following countries Hungary, Slovenia, Austria, Serbia. Which of the above countries share a border with Croatia? So, Croatia shares a border with Hungary as well as Slovenia and also Serbia, but not Austria. So, the correct answer to this question should be option C. Recently, the external affairs minister said that India and Croatia shared a lot of common positions on issues like the Indo-Pacific situation in Afghanistan and the two countries resolved to fight against terrorism in all of its forms and manifestations. Croatia is in Central and Southeast Europe on the coast of Adriatic Sea. It borders Hungary to the northeast, Serbia to the east, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Montenegro to the southeast and Slovenia to the northwest. See, as this map suggests, Slovenia is bordering Croatia, Hungary, Serbia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, also Montenegro here. Okay, let's move forward to the next question. Consider the following statements. Terrapins are sea turtles. Olive Ridley turtles are the most abundant sea turtles found in the world. We have to select the correct statement. Terrapins are actually freshwater turtles. So the first statement is incorrect. But yes, Olive Ridley turtles, these are the most abundant sea turtles found in the world. So the correct answer to this question is option B. Recently, some environmental activists pointed out that Odisha's Bhitar Karnika National Park is under severe threat due to planned diversion of fresh water from the Brahmani River Basin. Sea turtles are larger in size compared to terrapins that are freshwater turtles and tortoises. Also, olive ridley turtles are the smallest and most abundant of all sea turtles found in the world inhabiting warm waters of Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Ocean. Moving on, consider the following statements with respect to Panjshir Valley. It literally means the Valley of Five Lions. It is a valley in South Central Afghanistan. It is divided by the Kabul River. We have to select the incorrect statement. So, Panjshir, we have also discussed a question on Panjshir in one of our today's GK segment. So, yes, it literally means the Valley of Five Lions. Panj means Panch and Shir means Sher. So, Valley of Five Lions. Also, it is a valley in North Central Afghanistan and not South Central Afghanistan. So, the second statement is incorrect. And it is divided by the Panjshi River. So, the correct answer should be B as we had to select the incorrect statements. Option B is the correct one. Taliban has claimed that its forces have made headway into the Panjshir Valley in Afghanistan. Panjshir literally means Valley of Five Lions. It is in the north central Afghanistan, 150 km north of Kabul, near the Hindu Kush mountain range. It is divided by Panjshir River. Hence, all of the statements as discussed, we segregated them. So, you can see Panjshir valleys in north central Afghanistan, 150 kilometers north of Kabul. So, this has been as claimed captured. It had never fallen before, but now it has fallen to Taliban. Moving on, consider the following statements with regard to Nipah virus. It first appeared in domestic pigs and has been found among several species of domestic animals, including dogs, cats, goats, horses and sheep. It first broke out in Malaysia and Singapore in 1998 and 1999. We have to select the correct statement. Both these statements are correct. The correct answer is option C, both 1 and 2. A health team from the centre visited Kerala's Koziko district on Sunday, where a 12-year-old boy died after getting infected by, an, by the Nipah virus and collected samples of Rambutan fruits from the area. Nipah virus is a zoonotic virus transmitted from animals to humans. 
The organism which causes Nipah virus, Encephalitis, is an RNA or a ribonucleic acid virus of the family Paramyxoviridae genus Henipevirus and is closely related to Hendra virus. Also, it first broke out in Malaysia and Singapore in 1998 and 1999, first appeared in domestic pigs and has been found among several species of domestic animals including dogs, cats, goats, horses and sheep. Moving on to the next question, consider the following statements with respect to the collegium system. The Supreme Court introduced the collegium system in the first judge's case. In the third judge's case, the Supreme Court on precedence reference expanded the collegium to a five-member body. In the second judge's case, the Supreme Court said that the word consultation really means concurrence. So, we have to select the correct statement. When it came to the appointment of judicial persons for judgeship or for the transfer of judges, the primacy of the opinion of the Chief Justice of India was stated in the first judge's case. And this was actually the collegium system was introduced by the second judge's case. Okay, And in the second judge's case only, it was said by the Supreme Court that here consultation actually means concurrence and primacy of the Chief Justice of India should not be there. It should be the consultation process should come into concretization with the help of the opinion, opinion of the, the Supreme Court Chief Justice of India and also other judges, other senior most judges. So that was introduced in the second and not the first. And yes, in the third judge's case, the Supreme Court on precedence reference expanded the collegium consisting of one, of course the CGI is one only, and four senior most judges of the Supreme Court. So the second and the third are correct, the first is incorrect, the correct answer is option B. Setting the stage for a fresh confrontation with the government, the Supreme Court collegium has reiterated its decision recommending the appointment of 12 candidates, including three judicial officers to five high courts. Collegium system is the system of appointment and transfer of judges that has evolved through judgments of the Supreme Court and not by an act of parliament or by a provision of the constitution. Moving on, consider the following factors, thermal expansion, rise in precipitation, subduction of the oceanic plates beneath the continental plates, melting of glaciers or loss of Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets. So, which of the above are the primary factors contributing to sea level rise? So, the primary factors of sea level rise are actually thermal expansion, also melting of glaciers and also loss of Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets. So, it is 1, 3 and 5 that is option. D. A recent study published in the journal Nature Climate Change predicted that because of rising temperatures, extreme sea level rise along the coastline of the earth will become 100 times more frequent. Sea level rise is an increase in the level of the world's ocean due to the effects of climate change, especially global warming. It is induced by three primary factors, thermal expansion, melting glaciers and loss of Greenland and Antarctic's ice sheet. Moving on, consider the following countries, Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania, Kosovo. Which of the countries mentioned above share a border with Montenegro? So all these countries actually have a border with Montenegro. The correct answer is option D. There have been fierce clashes in Montenegro as the Serbian Orthodox Church installed a new leader in a ceremony that exposed divisions in the Balkan country. Montenegro is a country in southeastern Europe. It is located on the Adriatic Sea and is part of the Balkans, sharing borders with Serbia to the northeast, Bosnia and Herzegovina in the north and west also, Kosovo to the east, Albania to the southeast and the Adriatic Sea and Croatia to the southwest. As this map shows, Montenegro shares its borders with Bosnia and Herzegovina. Then we have 
क्रोएशिया सर्बिया कोसोवो एंड एल्बेनिया ओके लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी एंड डेवलपमेंट काउंसिल इज ए स्टैचुटरी बॉडी अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस द रघुराम राजन कमिटी proposed the creation of fsdc we have to select the correct statement so i hope you will be answering this correctly in the comment segment that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching